Hey everyone, Mortgage Nerd here. I want to tell you a little bit of story about a client that I have right now and the advantage to working with a company that is that is nimble and can move around from one lender to another. Now, I know it's kind of confusing because I'm like, well, I am a lender, but I am a broker, but then I'm like, I'm using that lender or this lender. It's kind of confusing. I'm a correspondent lender. That means I can close in my own name. But what I do is I get other lenders to underwrite the loan for me. Maybe lender A is really fast right now in underwriting and their rates are really low, that's who I'm using. But then that one gets busy and lender B is better, so then I shift over there. So what I do is I'll say between this one lender and that lender, we sign the application in my name as the lender. So the lender's PS Financial Services, DBA doing business as PS Mortgage Lending. PS is the lender. Did everything on my application, great. Sent the loan to this big lender who a month ago had the best rates and all this stuff. They took a while, but this was a long contract, almost a two month contract to get it closed. So we had all this time. It's a VA loan, a veteran that I was working with, beat out the competition. I didn't know this person, found her on Facebook. She confided in me and said, I'm gonna give it a shot. You're a veteran as well, let's try this. Got a great rate, clear to close a while back, then this big lender, I've heard all the warnings out there from other small companies like mine, but I said, ah, I'm gonna give this person the best rate and beat the competition. Big lender comes along and is like, sorry, you're not gonna make the money that you thought you were gonna make because of X, Y, Z, reason, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I was furious. People in my office are furious. We're like, it's so shady. Well, guess what? Last week, rates started to drop after they had gone up. So I said, let's try this. Let's take our application that's in our name, and let's send it over to our favorite wholesale lender, United Wholesale. And I use their name because they don't have retail. You can't go walk into their front door the way you can with this other one whose name I'm not gonna say. We say, actually we didn't say cancel, we left it open just in case, because we have to close next week on the 12th. Today's the 4th. But we took this application that we signed we brought it over here. Turned it in this morning. Today's Monday, November 4th. Submitted this this morning. The application, the insurance is in my name. Uh, appraisals in my name. Everything's in my name. Sent it over here. Three hours later, I get a phone call. Everything is approved. All we need is a senior underwriter to come in and check off the box for clear to close. In just a few hours, same day. Now we do our closing disclosure which you have to do three days out, and we're closing next Tuesday. Monday's a holiday, Veterans Day. You can't do that if you walk into a big branch lender. If you go to a big bank that, you know, they have all these apps and commercials that they spend tons of money on, there's a reason they can afford to spend that money because they're charging you more than everyone else. They're also not nimble. Guess what? This person, I got a lower rate. Not a lot, but it's lower. All in all, benefit to them, benefit to us, Get rid of them. You can't do this if you're a direct lender only, if you retail only. You have to be nimble to be able to move and shift. That's what I could do. Phil Stevenson, PS Mortgage Lending, Mortgage Nerd, out.